Hi guys, Drew with Drew Talks. I wanted to pop on here today and talk about a very important bill that's about to be presented at the Capitol. Um, I don't go out to speak on bills very much because most of them are terrible, but this one is a good one. It actually packs some teeth behind it. And um, on the large scale of things, this could actually affect national foreign policy. And it all starts in the state of Montana. So we have a representative, Lee Deming, who is going to put forth a bill called Defend the Guard. On paper, what Defend the Guard is, is it basically says that unless Congress declares war, the Montana National Guard cannot be sent into foreign conflicts. It's a beautiful thing. So unless you know your constitution, you may not know this, but Congress needs to declare war for us to go to war. We don't have a king sitting on a throne that just says we are going to conquer here or fight here. The founders designed it so that Congress, the people we elect, are supposed to vote and they are supposed to say when we go to war. Now, our federal government for over 70 years has been ignoring this and they are never ever going to vote themselves out of power. So the only way we are going to stop these foreign wars is by the state starting to say, you're not taking our resources overseas unless a war is actually declared. There isn't gonna be any of our boys dying in Afghanistan or Iraq or Ukraine, no more. Now, without the National Guard resources, our empire cannot continue to do what they are doing. So I'm just gonna be really honest, that's what we're really trying to do. Idaho almost passed this. Now, I would love Montana to be first. Montana is historically an anti-war state. Uh, we had the only Congresswoman in Washington who voted no for both world wars. Um, we also put her there before women could even vote. So Montana kind of is the state, historically, where she doesn't really care what the rest of the country's doing, she's gonna do what's right. Now, we are getting pushback on this, um, which every time we call veterans around the state or veteran organizations, they're always shocked that we would get any pushback. This is a veteran state. And most of them have the attitude of, well, that's a shoe win, obviously that makes sense. Easy, easy to push through. Um, what they don't know is that what happens in Helena, unfortunately, a lot of times these politicians, lawmakers and lobbyists, they don't vote for things because it's the right thing to do. Sometimes they vote for things based on what benefits their interests the most. So if you want something passed, you actually have to show up and give them some push on it. Um, things do not just slide in, unless somebody's getting money for it, but if it's a good bill limiting this type of power, this overseas empire, it's not just gonna slip through. You want this to pass, you actually have to show up and push it through. The two things we are going to face opposition for with this one is one, they're gonna say we're going up against federal law. We are basing what we are writing on the founding constitution. Um, so maybe the feds are actually going against federal law with that. But Montana has a history of nullifying bad laws and she'll do it again. Also, people are concerned that they will lose funding. Um, Montana has a ton of resources. We could stand to lose some federal funding and find funding other places. I do not think we should make decisions that have to do with war based on funding. I think everyone who votes against Defend the Guard because of the funding needs to be willing to look the family members, the mothers, the wives, the children of the guardsmen who are going to die because this didn't pass and say, well, I'm sorry, but we just needed more tanks or aircraft. We need to end these wars and this is a great way to do it. 
We need to stand up for our veterans. This is a pro-soldier bill. I'm actually very disgusted at how many pro-soldier organizations that are not only indifferent to this, but actively oppose it because of money. So if you are a veteran, part of an organization here in the state of Montana, you need to figure out where they stand on this because it will tell you how much they actually value the lives of their soldiers. Soldiers sign up to defend their country. They do not sign up to participate in wars in Eastern Europe or in the Middle East that have nothing to do with us. They should not be sent overseas to battle countries that don't even have an air force to get to us. In the video description, I'll post a link to the draft of this bill um, so you can read it for yourself. I would also highly encourage, if not plead for you, if you are passionate about this type of bill to protect our soldiers, that you prepare to come to the Capitol at a moment's notice because we are going to be testifying on this bill here soon, hopefully. And we obviously are going to be standing up against some very big power and money, which is the war machine. If you have any questions, I will put contact information for me in the description also. And I, I hope to meet you and see you at the Capitol as we go defend our guardsmen. Thank you.